Welcome back to Far Cry 5's arcade mode, the mode that can give you something really good, or the mode that can give you hot garbage. We got some more bounty targets to be taking it. Oh, I hope I get to use a revolver now. I'm not changing what I want to do. I still want to use a revolver, but I'll take a James Bond handgun. I'll take any handgun. Handguns are beautiful, especially this display picture. Unfortunately, this display picture doesn't tell us anything about the map. <laughs> Not the best display picture, I hope the map itself turns out to be better. Unchanged loadout names, but they did change all the loadouts. They gave Empty a grapple, they've swapped out a few of the assault weapons. Melee has been given brass knuckles and no melee weapons themselves. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I think I'm just gonna go with Empty. Empty's a beautiful loadout choice, right? I can win with Empty. There's birds everywhere in my face. Birds in my face! Birds all over in my face. I could say the exact same thing, buddy boy. Now I have a gun. I have a weapon. And up, uh, up. Uh, I think there's a helicopter on the map. I think. Oh yeah, there are helicopters, but one of them's being used by an enemy. The radio kind of indicates that the enemy is using them. Okay, now let's see how much of this map that I can break. Um, not very much, actually. I mean, I found this broken section here just by jumping on top of the rocks, but oh, bah, bah, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I had to have a good chuckle after seeing that default floor. So yeah, it doesn't look like I can use this broken part to my advantage. I could try, but then I'd end up either being soft locked or dead, or possibly both. There's sand down there. It's obvious that I was not supposed to come this way. Well, let's journey along the cracks. Let's see how far I can get before I end up falling to my death. Because that's what it looks like at this point. It's so high up that I'm going to die from fall damage. But then again, maybe I will get something there. Ooh, that looks like a long jump. Can I make this jump? I'm James Bond, damn you. And oh, I survived. I crashed through the wall and took normal fall damage. And now I'm down here in the wild. I'm in the wild, wild west of default. I forget what this floor is actually called. They have an official name for it. I just don't remember it anymore. I'm in the wild! Oh, this cr the creator of this map is definitely going to want to see me play this now. <laughs> Let's see how far I get. Ah, oh, crap. No, I'm no, no, that doesn't go anywhere. And we're back to the start because I couldn't go anywhere once I fell down that hole. Once I fell down the marble hole. Anyway, we're back to the beginning. Let's see how far we get now. Wait, can I go just go this way? There's a grapple hook there, so maybe. It is possible I might be able to go this way. Oh, yeah, kind of. This might just be a secret, though. This might not be the legit thing. It also might just be an alternate way. But the lack of enemies tells me that, no, this is not an alternate route. I'm going an opposite way. I might be taking a shortcut. I might be just skipping over part of the map. There's helicopters over there and I want to figure out how to reach them. If I get a hold of a helicopter, oh man. That will not be very James Bond of me, but at least I'll have a helicopter. So I may have just skipped over a massive chunk of the map. I might have, oh, there's an enemy there. The enemy just blew themselves up. Oh, they survived. They managed to live. I'm James Bond. I never lose. You have my revolver. Oh shoot! Killing that guy did a trigger point. Damn it! Figures that all the times now the, the trigger scripts are finally working. It figures that. Anyway, I found a massive shortcut to this map. All I have to do is just make sure I don't get blown up when I take out the enemy. Or take out the enemy before they even see me. I'm not going to be able to stop the script, but I could definitely run away. They might blow themselves up as I try to get away. Uh, the thing is, though, I didn't get a chance to see the finish line before I died. So, this might not go as well as I want, but I'm going to try anyway. So, killing him is going to trigger a bunch of enemies. There they are. Now run like fuck. Run away. Run away. Just go back the way I came. They'll probably take the vehicle and chase me down. But at a certain point, they're going to be stopped by the immovable table. 
Are you a sniper or a handgun guy? No, you're neither. Well, your guy just standing there looking at me funny. See ya, cult guys! James Bond forever! James Bond forever! I'm getting out of here! Ah ha 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 ha! Goodbye! You will not take a double O. I never got to use this revolver. Boo! Well, working as a double O agent or James Bond didn't go very well. So, we're just gonna go and work on the lake. Working on the lake in the desert with my trusty, that's a revolver. <gasps> oh, 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 but that's nothing. That's a revolver, but that's nothing. I want to use the revolver, but it's nothing. Nothing's the best, God damn it. Hunt. Well, I'm using nothing because nothing is the best loadout choice that you can possibly take. If you win with nothing, you are the very best. And now I have a weapon. I don't have nothing anymore. I only took them out because I wanted their guns. I got their weapons now, so now I have a means to defend myself if something really nasty just ends up coming my way. Huh. I see a helicopter on the map too. I see that heli. That's what I'm going for now. I don't have binoculars with this loadout. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. That's going to keep me on path. The game doesn't want me to go to the left. What if I try going to the left anyway? Oh, now you're okay with me going to the left? Oh, no, no. They want me to stay near the lake. That's my job! They want me to work on the lake. They don't want me going near these buildings, do they? No, yeah, it's the buildings. They don't want me touching those buildings for some reason. But what if I go near the buildings anyway? What are you gonna do about that? No, yeah, that's what I thought. What I thought. I'm gone all around and gone in this direction and fell through the land I've become one with the water and oh shoot did I fall in a hole? what the fuck just happened? okay no we gotta experiment with this a little bit more I just jumped through the land I am definitely one with the lake the lake is my own <laughs> Let me go up here. I'm gonna try jumping in this land. Ah! And apparently I'm on land. Uh, th what the fuck? Well, that's some awkward graphical glitch. Anyway, I've seen enough of that. We can continue on. Still have two targets to take out. And there's a helicopter that I was heading towards. Oh, uh, maybe I'm not going to the helicopter. There's a bunch of invisible walls that are not letting me go. They're not letting me proceed, so they have the helicopter completely blocked off. So it looks like only players can use them, or the helicopter is the designated finish line. Anyway, I'm trying to find the breaks in the invisible walls. That's what I'm looking for now. There's probably a crack somewhere. One that will just let me go. There's going to be, oh, there's a fence. I can go this way. I can go inside this. No binoculars, so it's hard to see enemies. Enemies just set themselves on fire. Apparently there's a fire thing on the map somewhere. Okay, let's see if I can break the map. That's I, I'm more curious about doing that than I am actually following the intended pathway. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing that graphical bug, it's hard to take it seriously. Well, let's keep going. Let's go. I jumped over the invisible wall at this point. I'm over the invisible wall. Unless there's another invisible wall in place. If there is, then crap. If there isn't, I just took a massive shortcut. Chances are I may have just shortcutted the entire map. I'm about to get to a helicopter. Oh, there's Joseph. There is a helicopter. And there's no way for me to get to it, so yeah. At least not from here. I might have to continue breaking it just to get to it, but... If these two turn out to be the bounty targets, then there's no point. Oh, there we go. My only two bounty targets! Ah ha ha ha! Ow! Ah ha 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 ha! I win again! I only had to take out two enemies. And oh, oh dear. So this, this section is one of those where if you took your, 
took any loadout, you can get out clean, but if you took the empty, you actually have to go back the way you came. Unless you find a break in the map, which that's what I'm going to try and look for. And I may have found possible break, but I don't know. There's there's a bunch of invisible walls and graphical glitches on this map that this might not even work. No, I didn't think it would work. Okay. I didn't think it was going to work. Well, maybe I can get up one of these rocks. Yep, I'm getting up on the rocks and... <gasps> Do, can I get to the helicopter? Let's see if I can get to the heli. Oh my god, I'm sli- I didn't have any control of my character there for a moment. Hold on, there might be a way for me to get to that helicopter. Just keep moving. Keep moving and damn the consequences. Okay, where's the heli? Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, uh, oh, okay, yeah. Um, I've definitely game overed myself. <laughs> it's okay, bugs happen because it's Ubisoft and this is Far Cry 5. Yep, these things happen. It's not actually, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay when it happens. But you have to be ready when it does happen. There's two guys right there. I want to, I'm going to show the creator something. I'm going to show everyone else something. I have just gone and skipped over those enemies. And unless those are snipers aggroing me right now, I'm going to get away from all of this. I will successfully escape all of this. Wait for it. It's coming. Just wait for it. Yeah, I'm sure that the creator did the best they could. They probably did the best they could to try and keep players in the map. I mean, you can see that there is effort put on here. There was like a big tunnel and everything, and I'm sure that the graphical glitch was a break when it bro the map broke on upload because that's that's actually has happened before. Oh, there's a med kit there that I won't need to use. Um, I, yeah, I'm sure that the crit had good intentions trying to make this map. It kind of rubs off that way. It just I just managed to find the the, the certain things that nobody else would probably find. Only a few people in the world will find him. If not, then it's just me and anyone else that's watching. Anyway, I have no weapons. Oh, down. damn it. Damn it, stop stun locking me. You cannot save them. Again, I have no weapons. Well, I did. I just took these guys' weapons. And I won. Nothing is the best. Nothing's gonna always beat the rest. Alright, let's go back the way I came. I don't feel like getting soft locked or trapped anymore. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and win with an empty loadout. And <laughs> win without using the enemy, the, those starting enemies' weapons, too. Okay, so we know that there's invisible walls here. I can't go this way. I won't be able to. Well, I can try. I might be able to jump over part of it. Let me see. Did I jump over it? No. No, it's too far. Okay, so I gotta stay along the rocks. Stay along the rocks for now. Might be able to get up this rock. Aha! With the power of jump tricking, I managed to just climb up it. I jumped it all the way up. So I'm all good. And boom! Back to where I came from. And now I just have to head to the finish line, wherever that is. I killed only two enemies. I did the only targets objective. The mission objective only targets. Somehow. 
Actually, it's not somehow. Anyway, my my advice on how to fix this, if you aside from the fixing the graphical glitches, that's easy. You just change the elevation there or add solids. Um, but um, if you want players to go the intended way of the map, my advice is add a third bounty target over there in that direction where all the enemies are, and that'll prevent players from doing what I just did. I'm, I'm assuming that over there where I was pointing at the cars, my suggestion of adding a third target over there, I'm assuming that that's where all the enemies are. That's where all of Wave 1 is, and Wave 2 was supposed to be the helicopter. But it didn't happen because I managed to just fast forward. But yeah, add an enemy, add a bounty target over there where all the other enemies are. That'll prevent players from being able to do what I just did. It'll make players get more involved in the map. Generally, I find that just having one bounty target, unless it's a blood dragon or something really big, something that has a lot of HP, there's just no point because players can just usually just take out the one target and leave. You generally have to add more than one target, even if it's just a target that you don't give a shit about. Oh, that was not the finish line. Well, I've triggered the enemies again, but again, unless they have snipers, I'm gonna get away scot-free. I'll take a little bit of bumps and damages and little shots, but the sniper is the only thing that's strong enough to kill me at this range. Yeah, if one target's not good enough from what I find, normally you have to add extra targets. Throwaway targets. Even targets that you know are going to die. That allows you to keep players on path. Generally, some of my maps, I just put an angel and make a random angel a target. Because, you know, they're pretty harmless. But it, it, it makes players have to go and get them. I shouldn't be rewarding this broken bugginess and the fact that you can just skip over most of the map, but I'm going to anyway because I do like the theme. Anyway, that's going to be all the time we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!